he's okay. The ultrasound didn't okay. show any, okay. yeah. uh, any free okay. fluid. To, well, let me ask uh, you this question. Exam. Text. Training and Educational Center for Healthcare Simulation. Hi, Chris here, and SP. Today we're going to tell you a little bit about Tex. Tex span two locations. Tex South, which can be found in the Medical Education Building on the third floor, and Tex North, which can be found in the Gale Grief Hunt School of Nursing Building on the second floor. Both locations can be found right here on the corner of Rick Francis and Robert Brown. Here in Tech South, we use standardized patient encounters and virtual reality simulators on a regular basis. Standardized patients, also known as SPs, are individuals trained to portray the roles of actual patients, family members, and others. SP encounters allow learners to practice physical exam skills, history taking, and communication within a controlled and safe environment. These encounters usually take place in a simulated exam room like so. Educators can record and assess learner performance and learners can review and reflect during debriefing to improve care. The rooms come equipped with everything needed for a real patient encounter, including an otoscope, ophthalmoscope, and furnishings to mimic a real clinic environment. If you are working with standardized patients, we ask that you treat these individuals as if you were working with a real patient. But do not perform invasive examinations or procedures unless specifically instructed to do so as a part of the learning activity. The virtual reality simulators are very sophisticated and allow for basic skills and procedural training in a safe and controlled environment. These systems allow for a wide range of procedural training from ultrasound imaging to minimally invasive surgical procedures. These training devices are interactive and can guide learners toward mastery performance through technique training and improved hand-eye coordination. Most of your high fidelity sims will be conducted here at Tex North in an immersive simulation room. Tex South also has the ability to offer those scenarios, but the majority of them will be conducted here at Tex North. This room was designed to mimic an acute care hospital room. While present, learners will be exposed to mannequins, standardized patients, or specialty skills called task trainers to help teach procedural skills. While undergoing evidence-based scenarios, Learners become proficient in administrating medications, performing procedures, solve problems under pressure, managing teams and healthcare resources. Many mannequins have advanced capabilities to support learner interaction. This includes displaying of vital signs, allowing palpations of pulses, and exhibiting heart and lung sounds, and allowing vocal interaction to get a patient's history. Mannequins will be set up in a room that is equipped with everything needed to evaluate, stabilize, and provide care. Please feel free to open up drawers and use provided equipment to render care, just like in a real patient care setting. If you need something to provide care, a phone in the room can be used to contact simulated hospital services, including pharmacy, central supply, or to request a consultation. The phone number for the consultation will be posted in the room. The overhead monitor can be used to provide clinical information such as labs, radiographic studies, or physical examination findings. If ordering laboratory studies, medications, or radiographic imaging, please write these orders on the whiteboard to allow the technical operators to review and respond to these requests. While in the simulation room, there are a few things you should know. Do not bring food or drinks into a simulation room. This is prohibited in both locations. When engaged in a scenario, vital signs will not be shown on the monitor until the pulse ox and monitor leads are placed securely on the mannequin, just as would happen on a real patient. Do not write on the mannequin nor apply Benadine. Ink can transfer from glove to equipment. Please do not write on your gloves. Please be careful when interacting with the mannequin. They are heavy and should not be lifted by a single person. Although they can be propped up and lives can be moved for examination, 
please be aware of any wires or cables that are attached to prevent pulling or crimping. Moving parts on hospital beds and gurneys can be a pinch hazard. Use caution to avoid pinching yourself or the mannequin when operating these devices. Please interact during the scenario. The simulation environment is a safe place to test your knowledge, and the most impactful learning is acquired through experience. Try not to get distracted by the equipment or space. Simulation requires some element of imagination. If there are technical problems with the equipment, this information will be reported via announcement from the operations staff. If you are using sharps in the room, please be sure to place them in the approved sharps container. Never dispose of sharps in the trash. If the container is full, notify a member of the tech staff immediately. Text North also has a nursing clinical station. This station provides the opportunity to learn how to retrieve medications and medical supplies from electronic dispensing stations. There are also fundamental classrooms with multiple clinical beds that can be used for patient assessment, small group learning, and some procedural skills. Each bed is also equipped with functioning head wall systems and learners are encouraged to interact with these tools to provide care. Additionally, Text North has an integrated bed call system that can be used to alert you or other care teams about a need in the room, whether a patient request or a code blue alert. Both facilities have skill rooms that are equipped with task trainers, which allows the opportunity to practice procedural techniques such as phlebotomy and many others. Following each session, you will be asked to provide feedback using a web-based link displayed as a QR code. Please take the time to provide feedback on the encounter and let us at text know what we can do to improve your learning experience. Thank you for joining us here at TEX. We hope you enjoy training with us and we look forward to seeing you come back again soon.